Kenya will enter 2013 from an improving economic position. In 2012, inflation declined sharply, the exchange rate stabilized and debt levels remained sustainable. A combination of higher interest rates and a drop in food and fuel prices brought inflation under control and stabilized the economy in 2012. It is possible that the country will continue with the sluggish growth rates of around 4%. These rates will be enough to create some degree of economic stability, but will be too little to achieve economic transformation which would guarantee more and better jobs for Kenyans. In the seventh report, we have focused on the impact of growth on jobs and what the government of Kenya can do to make job growth a reality for Kenyans. Um, jobs has been the number one word searched for by Kenyans on the internet since records began. Um, it's more popular than the news, uh, it's more popular than the politicians, yeah, and you can understand why. The current economic situation does not allow many Kenyans the luxury of a job. Unemployment is still an unrelenting problem that continues to impose costs to the individual. Unemployment has been very uh, high in the country, uh, especially among the youth. And as that's something that the government is very aware of. And as uh, Treasury and also as government, we have been doing a lot to uh, correct that, to address the unemployment problem, especially among uh, the youth. Uh, our aim is to improve youth employability in the country uh, by looking at uh, what private sector can offer through training and internship, but again looking at uh, the policy issues that affect youth employment in the country. Each year, thousands of fresh graduates join the job market that is already overwhelmed and can only absorb a few. Together with these graduates are school dropouts and others who have not gone through the formal education system. For those looking for the opportunity to earn a living, each day is a struggle, another chance to try again. It is tedious and disappointing for many and has disillusioned many to the level of giving up. Hapa kwa tunaamuka kila subuhi tunakuja hapa kusubiri kazi lakini kazi yenyewe huwa ionekani na kionekana tunapewa kama shilingi 220 au 250 kwa kwa siku. Sasa unaona kama umehitimu kitu kama electrical kitu kama hiyo mechanical kitu kama hizo. Hizo vitu hazisaidii hapa. Hii kwanza pale kama hapa tuko you are SID. There are those who, after giving up on the formal sector, opt for self-employment. Others choose self-employment after being forced out of the job market by factors like low remuneration, exploitation, verbal abuse, etc. I want an 8 to 5 job, I want a well-paying job, like a salary at the end of the month. But when you send out your CVs, you send out your letters of application, you don't get any replies. Few opportunities mean that competition is high. Unfortunately, with these few opportunities, and as the unemployed compete for a chance, there is no level playing ground on the market. Further challenges of discrimination are presented. Many find that nepotism, tribalism, demands for bribes and sexual harassment are major barriers to obtaining a job. Young people coming from wealthier and connected families are seen as having large advantages in finding work, regardless of skills and qualifications. Rampant among the obstacles is that of bribery. The more competitive the vacancy, the higher the amount of bribe demanded. Lack of experience and qualification or skills is another major setback for the youth aiming to enter the job market. Because a lot of people who are leaving um, colleges and uh, schools don't have experience. So when they go out to look for work, the employers will ask them, do you have experience? Uh, and you know, we have had quite a number of students telling us, look, I thought when I graduate I'll get a job, but when I go to look for a job I'm, told, I'm asked uh, if I have uh, experience. The job market demands for certain years of experience and high qualifications, denying fresh graduates opportunities to enter the job market. To absorb the thousands of Kenyans who are still jobless and qualified, 
A job creation strategy is vital. Four elements are key in the strategy towards wage job creation for Kenya. Ensuring continued political and macroeconomic stability, investing in business-related infrastructure, particularly transport and electricity access, ensuring that education achieves appropriate substantive returns for Kenya's youth, and finally, tackling corruption. Jobs are a vital part of the economy. They are what determine living standards. Fundamentally, people work to make a living, and as earnings increase, individual choices expand. Jobs are also about productivity, because economic growth happens as jobs become more productive. It is therefore necessary that strategies are put in place to absorb the millions of Kenyans who are still wasting their skill unemployed. Kenya has the potential to take advantage of its demographic opportunity and provide good wage jobs for the coming bulge in Kenyans of working age.